Hello and welcome to my review of Nickelodeon Kart Racers. Now you may have seen a few scathing reviews for this game already. The average score for the game at the moment is 4.5 out of 10, and you're probably expecting the same thing from me. Well, let's see about that. From the second this game was announced, people were skeptical. There were warning signs at every turn, from the developer's past history, to its art style and general polish. From day one, people were calling it a terrible Mario Kart ripoff. And from day one, I've been defending it telling people to wait till it came out, to wait till we got to play it, to hold back their judgement till it was in our hands. And today I finally played it. And here's what I have to say. It's pretty alright. Alright, step one. Yes, this in many ways is a Mario Kart clone. Okay, move on. Right, all kart races are Mario clones. Doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it is taking inspiration and aspects from a very beloved and well-known game. What's wrong with taking inspiration from another creation? Now, this game does take it a step further than inspiration at times, but for the most part, I don't see its similarities to Mario Kart as a bad thing. It's just a thing, and I don't care that much about it. In general, this game is better than what it has been painted as. It's not below average. It isn't great, it isn't as good as it could have been, but it isn't as bad as many expected it to be. Here are my main issues with the game. One, the sound design is far below average. From the terrible music to just the car sounds, it's far below what we should be getting. It all sounds tinny and terrible. The soundtrack is absolutely nothing. Literally just switch off the sound and play the Creature from the Krusty Krab soundtrack and you'll have a much better time. And two, there is no voice acting. For a game built, all right, built on nostalgia and these characters, none of them speak. There is nothing. It's so eerily silent. It's kind of creepy at times, the fact that no one is speaking. No one is reacting. You get these tiny little speech boxes at the bottom, but no actual voice acting. That tied in with the absolutely abysmal range of characters. You can't help but be disappointed with the Nickelodeon side of this game. No voice acting, none of the characters we love, or the music we love. It's kind of frustrating, like how hard is it just to grab Tom Kenny and bring him in from the studio next door? Or even just grab sound bites from the show or other games and throw it in this one. Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. It's just lazy and disappointing. For the most part, I found the game itself to be perfectly fine. Apart from some frame rate issues which were frustrating, I enjoyed it. Some people dislike the graphics, but I found them to be perfectly fine. And I like the models of the cars and the customization. You get these little victory laps every now and again, where you get to get more gear and all this other stuff. But you can also purchase pieces with coins you collect in the maps. There is no like in-game purchases though. I also like the boost mechanics and the level of speed you could achieve. And I like for the most part the items. This game is most definitely not a 4 out of 10. If anything, I would give it a 6 at the most. I believe its gameplay and sheer amount of maps should warrant that. Yes, is made some drastic failings and is disappointing to me. But I disagree with a lot of the criticism it's getting. It is just above average in my eyes and I intend to keep playing it. Well, thank you very so much for watching this review. Uh, let me know what you thought of Nickelodeon Kart Races and would you like to see me do live streams of it on this channel or gameplay videos with BJ, doing co-op, that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.